Have you ever wondered what the future holds for us? It may seem daunting to think about. But Nostradamus, the most celebrated prophet of all time, has already given us a preview. What he revealed for 2025 is not for the faint of heart. Each quatrain is a new shocking revelation that goes far beyond any conspiracy theory. It's as if he sat in a time machine and came back to warn us of the most disturbing events. Yet to come, a new pope, relentless natural disasters, out-of-control artificial intelligence, and even Donald Trump's return to power. Each of these prophecies feels like a warning, almost a cry to prepare, and quickly. These are not vague predictions or interpretations pulled out of thin air. Nostradamus left signs, and now it is our responsibility to decipher them before it is too late. We are about to enter a period that could redefine humanity, for better or for worse. World leadership is at stake, the balance of nature hangs by a thread, and a mysterious figure, possibly the Antichrist, may be lurking, ready to launch an epic war. What about the radical changes that are coming, capable of forever altering the course of history? It sounds like a scene from a fictional film, but if Nostradamus is right, 2025 will be a year we will never forget. Get ready to discover each of these ten terrifying prophecies and what they could mean for all of us. These are not just predictions. They are alerts. And whoever is willing to understand what is to come can, who knows, avoid the worst. So, let's dive into Nostradamus' words together and prepare ourselves for what could be the greatest challenge of our lives. After all, knowing what the future holds is not just a curiosity, but a way of preparing ourselves for it. Shall we go together? Nostradamus was a true enigma of his time, the type of person who seemed to have an open window into the future, even when everyone around him only saw the present. His writings, known as the centuries, are filled. With verses that many believe predicted major global events, from wars to technological revolutions. Some say he even predicted the rise to power of Donald Trump, a figure as polarizing as Nostradamus himself. Who would have thought that words written in the mid-1500s could resonate so much with the issues we face today in 2025? Of course, not everyone believes in prophecies. But there is no denying the fascination that Nostradamus's words exert. He talks about technological revolutions and social changes in a way that could even apply to the rise of artificial intelligence or the advancement of technologies that, as we know, have transformed the world in ways that seem magical. Nostradamus's prediction about a new revolution seems to fit perfectly with the technological advances. We are witnessing, be it Elon Musk launching rockets into space, or the constant digital revolutions we go through every day. It is curious to think that, instead of just predicting tragedies and catastrophes, Nostradamus seemed to have a kind of warning about what awaits us. What he really wanted to show us was the need to prepare for the unpredictable. If he were a current mentor, perhaps he would suggest that we all prepare for the unknown by investing in knowledge, whether by reading books like Who Thinks Grows Rich, or even following the news and investing in new skills. After all, a future that can be unpredictable requires sharp minds willing to adapt so that you can understand more clearly. And quickly the signs that surround us in challenging times like the ones we are living in. Nostradamus did not leave the Catholic Church aside in his predictions. Let's be honest. When we talk about changes in the Vatican, we are talking about transformations that echo throughout the world. Nostradamus speculated that the current leader, Pope Francis, could be replaced by a younger pontiff, something many see as a sign of turbulent times. This change in leadership could indicate a period of instability where traditional beliefs clash with new ideas. It's curious, isn't it? In a world where we are already seeing so much transformation, the church itself seems to be another piece on this board of changes. And it is not difficult to imagine the impacts of this change in church leadership. Think about how many social and moral issues depend on Vatican guidelines. The youth of the possible successor could bring a different approach to controversial topics such as the role of women in the church or even positions on environmental issues, topics that Pope Francis had already been addressing. Perhaps this is what Nostradamus wanted to warn us about, a change that challenges stability, something like a silent earthquake within the oldest religious structure in the world. 
Many people today feel that the world is changing too quickly and that old institutions need to keep pace. If Nostradamus predicted a young leader who will cause an uproar in the church, this may be an invitation to reflect on what binds us to certain dogmas. Perhaps the lesson here is to keep an open mind, seek to understand new ideas, and above all, be willing to challenge beliefs that no longer serve us. After all, if even the Catholic Church is subject to change, who are we not to rethink our own paradigms? The age of Aquarius has always been surrounded by a certain mystery, a kind of veiled promise between the spiritual and the chaotic. Nostradamus also pointed to this phase as a time of great transformation. But honestly, who can say whether it's for good or for bad? Some believe we are entering a period of spiritual awakening, where each of us will begin to ask ourselves what really matters in life. Others, however, some see this era as a prelude to chaos, something that, let's face it, is not so far removed from what we see with today's environmental and social challenges. We can perceive the consequences of this chaos in several ways. For example, the recent pandemic was not just a health crisis, but also a moment of reflection where many faced the fragility of life. It seems that the age of Aquarius brings these challenges to take us out of our comfort zones, forcing us to rethink habits and values. This reminds us of the words of Nostradamus, who spoke about invisible storms, something that applies perfectly to the psychological and social impact that a pandemic can have. Perhaps he was warning us to seek a form of resilience that does not only depend on the outside world, but on our insides. There is also a current that sees the age of Aquarius as a call to collective action. This moment of awakening is not just about being more aware, but about acting for the benefit of the collective. For example, when we talk about environmental challenges, the response cannot just be individual. It requires a true revolution in thought, which Nostradamus suggested, even if in a veiled way. Who knows? He was guiding us to understand that this chaos can only be resolved if we all work together in a paradigm shift. Leaving selfishness aside to embrace a new way of living, more connected and empathetic. Nostradamus mentioned an artificial entity that would turn against its creators, and it's hard not to immediately think of artificial intelligence, AI. The idea of machines rebelling has been the plot of so many science fiction films. But honestly... We're getting closer and closer to seeing it happen in real life, aren't we? Nostradamus's predictions sound like a warning that the power of AI, if not well-managed, could become a threat to humanity. The rise of this technology is fascinating, but what happens when a tool becomes smarter than the person who created it? Artificial intelligence is already among us in simple things like virtual assistants and movie recommendations, but the future is more complex. Imagine an AI that begins to decide which jobs are and are not needed or that takes control of essential systems. Nostradamus seems to warn us against complacency in relation to technology. The exponential growth of AI can be incredible, but can also pose a danger if there are no clear limits and ethics to guide its development. And this makes us ask, how can we ensure that AI is our ally, not our rival? For many, what Nostradamus did was give us a clue. We need to understand the importance of the balance between innovation and responsibility. Like a wise mentor, perhaps he would tell us that if we are going to create something that has the power to change the world, we need to prepare ourselves to guide that creation with wisdom. This involves educating the next generations about ethics and technology, encouraging debates about the limits of AI, and, who knows, even establishing global agreements so that these innovations do not get out of control. After all, the future of machines is a reflection of our choices, and these choices need to be made very carefully. Nostradamus seems to have anticipated Donald Trump's return to the political scene, and you don't need to be a clairvoyant to notice how his figure divides opinions. Many believe that Trump still has an important role to play in the United States, especially in times of intense social division. Nostradamus spoke of a polarizing figure who would return to power, and for many, this is a direct reflection of Trump. This return, possibly in 2025, carries with it the promise of intense disputes and changes that impact not only the U.S. but the entire world. Trump's influence is not limited to U.S. domestic politics. His outspoken, sometimes controversial style provokes global reactions. Nostradamus predicted times of instability, 
and it is difficult to imagine a more unstable time than now, where every speech, every tweet, has the power to ignite a flame of revolt or hope. For some, Trump is the bastion of traditional values. For others, he represents a step backwards. However, the impact of his decisions is felt in both the geopolitical and economic scenarios, affecting everything from international alliances to financial markets. What Nostradamus seems to suggest amid the these predictions is the importance of preparing for turbulent times. If we are facing a new political era marked by the return of Trump or the rise of other equally contra, the lesson here may be the need to be more attentive, more engaged in the political process. How can we prepare for the changes that come? Perhaps it is time to closely monitor the world scenario. Seek to understand the reasons behind leaders' decisions, and above all, stay informed to make decisions that help build a more stable future. After all, History has an interesting way of repeating itself, and the only way to navigate rough waters is to be prepared for what lies ahead. Nostradamus also made predictions involving geopolitical conflicts, and it is impossible to ignore the growing tensions involving China in recent years. He mentioned the possibility of a major naval conflict in the Asia-Pacific region, something that resonates deeply with recent military moves, and territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Nostradamus seems to have alerted us to a scenario where nations like China and the United States would face each other for influence and control, possibly even involving alliances like NATO. At a time of great global instability, the dispute over strategic areas and important maritime routes could trigger a domino effect, leading other countries to get involved, even if reluctantly. Think about how recently tension between Taiwan and China has mobilized the United States and raised concerns among NATO allies. Nostradamus, with his veiled words, seems to predict a kind of unstable scale that tilts toward any unexpected movement. Every provocation, every military exercise carried out in the region, is one more step toward something that could be catastrophic if left unchecked. In these moments, Nostradamus perhaps wanted to remind us of the importance of diplomacy and dialogue. As individuals, we cannot control the actions of great powers. But we can seek to understand the geopolitical landscape and be agents of change in our own communities. Perhaps the message behind this prediction is to prepare for instability, but never underestimate the power of peace and cooperation. Staying informed and politically engaged may seem like little, but it is through collective awareness that movements for a safer future are created. Tension is in the air but how we choose to react could define the course of the coming years. Nostradamus spoke about natural disasters in a way that sounds like a dark omen for our times. Earthquakes, tsunamis, and extreme weather events are increasingly present in our reality. In his writings, Nostradamus mentioned a sequence of catastrophes that would devastate several regions of the globe. And it is difficult not to immediately think about climate change. We see glaciers melting, Islands disappearing and forest fires devouring entire regions. These signs seem to echo what Nostradamus predicted centuries ago, reminding us of Earth's vulnerability. And it's not just about nature revolting, but also about the human impact. The increasing frequency of catastrophic events has a lot to do with the choices we have made as a society. Overconsumption, lack of care for natural resources, and a negligent approach to the environment. Nostradamus, with his enigmatic words, brings us a clear warning. What is at stake is the very survival of humanity. It's a call to act now, before it's too late, and adopt more sustainable practices, such as reducing waste and supporting environmental policies. If we are to think like Nostradamus, perhaps he was telling us to look more closely at our surroundings and make real changes. Imagine if each of us started thinking in terms of sustainability, reducing our use of plastics, supporting renewable energy, or even planting trees in our communities. Small actions generate big impacts when they become collective. Nostradamus didn't just want to predict misfortune. Perhaps he was encouraging us to be part of the solution. The future can still be rewritten if we act wisely and conscientiously toward the planet we call home. Nostradamus also predicted a wave of social revolutions, something that seems increasingly present in the current scenario. He spoke of a transformation fueled by inequalities, 
a cry that comes from the bottom of society demanding real changes. Today we witness protests around the world, from movements for racial justice to demonstrations against economic inequalities and climate change. It seems that more and more people are tired of seeing privileges being concentrated in the hands of a few, while many live in vulnerable situations. Today's social movements are as intense as those that transformed the last century. They show that the strength of the collective is capable of challenging long-established structures. Nostradamus was perhaps trying to remind us that all significant change comes from the unity of those who share the same desire for justice. See, for example, the Yellow Vest movement in France or the rights marches in the United States. Each of them carries the weight of popular dissatisfaction and hope for a fairer future. It's as if he was preparing us to understand that transformation only comes when there is the courage to stand up. The message we can extract from Nostradamus's prophecies about revolutions is clear. Change is inevitable, but it is up to us to choose the path it will take. If revolutions are knocking on our doors, how about we prepare to be part of this change actively? Maybe that means supporting a local cause, getting involved in community work, or simply educating those around us. The future is shaped by today's actions, and every small gesture counts. Social revolution is not only a massive event, but also a process that begins within each of us, changing who we are and how we relate to the world. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting us by clicking the Super Thanks button below. Your support helps us continue sharing the transformative story of Jesus. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and check out the video on your screen.